Hey, what's up? It's Keith Kelfis. You see these racks? Yeah, I'm Keith Kelfis. You see these racks? Okay, this video is called How to Negotiate. And look down right here. This is a project. And you can also see I'm wearing flip flat. Are these? That's not right. I should be wearing work boots. So, all right, come down close here. Tim Ferriss, the author of the Four Hour Work Week, wrote an amazing article on his blog uh, several years ago. And I see this happen in business all the time. And I want to know in the comments below if you see this happen. So, some customers are very wise about negotiation, almost to the point where it's adversarial and unfair to you as the contractor. But the world of commerce isn't fair. The world of business, it's about sometimes what can I get and that's all that matters so if you're quoting a project for a customer you might get emotionally excited you see the big rack this is the big rack well the customer wants all these things done and you're giving them a quote but your eye is on that big rack your eye is on the big thing that's the most expensive part of the project or the thing that makes you feel excited and the customer is telling you they want to get that done too that's the one you're gonna make the most profit on. That's the one that's gonna be your bread and butter and feed your family. There's all these other things they want on too. This could be a 10, 20, 30, $50,000 job. I don't know what it is to you. It could be as small as a $5,000 job, a $2,000 job. But here's what they do. They keep flirting with the big thing and saying they want the big thing. And you're like, well, if I get the big thing in there, then that'll make all this worth it. And this is gonna be a good job and we're going to be happy. We're going to make the customers happy. We're going to be happy. We're going to make good money. I'm excited. But here's what a customer who's a master negotiator will do. They put that big rack in there and they say, well, if I get all this done, can you come down on the price a little bit? You know? And you say, well, hey, the big rack's in there. I'm covered. Sure. I can take this much off or I can give you a discount or whatever you're thinking, whatever your process is. That's what it is. Well, here's what the customer will do. After you're all agreed and you're all locked in, then the customer will come back and they'll take the big rock. Hey, we decided we don't want this anymore. They never wanted it in the first place. Now how much is the job gonna be? And, and now you feel like the bottom fell out and you're like, oh, right? And that's what's the difference between bulk and itemized pricing. How do you circumvent this issue? Well, you don't give discounts on all this stuff. You act as if though that rack isn't even there. You price all this stuff accordingly to make your man hour rate, your payroll, your profit margins, whatever type of profit first, whatever you use, and you put that in there. Or you have to have guts enough or have some type of uh, addendum or something in your contract or, or verbally up front with the customer that says, hey, now that you move that thing out of there, I got to bring these things all back up to normal price or I can't do the job. How many times have you been stuck in a situation like that where you let the emotions get the best of you? Because I've been in it so many times that it kept me trapped living in a tiny little one bedroom apartment for five years with my wife doing coin laundry, afraid to walk outside with my neighbor stealing my shoes twice off of my front porch. I was getting tickets on my truck because I was I had nowhere to park my stuff. It was a, it was a not a fun life. And then I come back to the customer's property next month to do service again. And there's a brand new BMW in the driveway and a grand piano and they're getting a thirty thousand dollar patio installed. These people do not care about me, folks. And I'm not saying you shouldn't care about them, but I'm saying there's a strategy behind this. I'm just playing. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you soon. Peace.